Let's talk about the college football family and how it's being affected right now because the Players Association is organizing a boycott of the 2024 EA Sports video game. Oh, man. Well, first of all, put some respect on what y'all about to do. This ain't no boycott. This is a man cot, damn it. It's time to start man cotting out here, right? Because the NCAA is installing this interim NIL policy in 2021, we know, which was viewed by many as a victory. For the first time in college sports history, athletes were turning a profit. Yay. And then last month, EA Sports, they announced that players will be paid for the NIL to be used in the college football game, which is coming back next year all right so then ea contracted one team partners to facilitate college athletes likenesses and a source told the cash pool for the athletes was in the five million dollar range which could pay out five hundred dollars per player and sportico also has reported there are no royalties okay y'all remember when the story first hit and i told you about it i said this sounds amazing on layer one, but right beneath it, thinly veiled, was layer two where this wasn't going to work. Just simple mathematics. What are there, 120 plus FBS schools out there? Now, what do they all hold? 100 players? So you're sitting there like, dog, where the hell are they going to pay all these dudes? That's 12,000 cats. Like, and then what you gonna say? You gonna pay, what, Caleb Williams way more than you gonna pay somebody else, the, the backup guard? In college sports, when it's going through EA Sports, this is not just exclusive NIL. I was like, trust me, the devil's in the details. This is not going to work out. And now we are here. So uh, the VP of College Football Players Association said this does not fly. $500 for every player? Are you kidding me? He said, quote, all current players should boycott this deal. It's an opt-in deal, and they should not opt into it. It is just a ridiculously low amount of money. It is food stamps. It is welfare. That is, that's almost insulting. $500 per play. So given the context and the hype that surrounds this game, when we first heard the number, we're like, all right, that sounds low. Let's go figure it out if it is low. And they started talking to guys, talked to some of my friends, some guys who are still playing the NFL. So what are NFL players getting paid for Madden? These are all quotes, y'all. And the numbers we were given were from 2019. It was disclosed that they got, I think, about 17000 And then a current NFL player told us that he got a check for 28000 this year for Madden. Okay, now let me tell you what's going on here. This is not a partnership. This is not something that even EA Sports is putting in full respect to these college football players. Want to know why? In a true partnership, you disclose information. That's why it's a partnership. You open up the books. You take me into the back room. You say, okay, since we're partners on this, I may have more say, but let me show you everything, right? You don't, dis you don't sit there and say, we're going to keep this information here. You disclose the information. Why? Because you're not trying to hide something from a partner because their win is your win. Them winning is you winning, right? So when they didn't do that, it told you right now, this is more of an employer employee relationship, basically with a salary and a salary cap. The cap is $5 million. Y'all figure it out. So I knew it was a problem right there. Now, what else comes from this is you can see that this is not a great deal because every deal you have to weigh the opportunity costs, right? So to be in the game, it would give me a reward $500. All right. Always flip the opportunity costs. If I'm not in the game, what happens? Well, that's when you realize you have no leverage. Because if you're a college football player, you say, I'm not in the game. I opt out. Guess what they say? Well, we're still producing the game, but now it's going to be with your avatar, or whatever that may be, right? So this train keeps rolling with or without you. Does that feel like leverage? Hell no. Nah. It's a sad state of affairs that the players have fought for all this. And then with a huge announcement like this, you think that you really have a partnership and it turns out, uh, opt in if you want, opt out if you want, whatever. Here's $500. Really not any sweat off of our back, but more importantly, we are not who you thought we were. We are not partners in this situation. Crazy. They're going to make all that money off of them they they sold one and a half million copies of this in 2013 that was the last time it hit the shelves and now we got twitch and all these gamers out here and all this online gaming like it's a bigger deal 
And these players are still getting the smaller of that bigger deal. Not good enough. If I were one of those players, I would be out there with y'all too. I ain't boycotting though. Let's man cop together.